even a word like soul is soul. Like I said, I think of it as a psychic function rather than a thing or an entity. But is that it's that sort of line of communication between the surface consciousness and our essence. It's that thing that communicates to us between between those two dimensions of being. And you feel when you've lost it or you feel when you're not paying attention to the soul. You feel it. Because life just doesn't feel vital and and connected and it's like you just you know something's off. You know? And when you start to connect again, that intermediary function called the soul, it starts to light up again. And all of a sudden you feel like, oh, yeah, you're more in your, you're even more in your integrity. Right? Because I think that's a part of spirituality is a kind of, you know, without, hopefully, without going into lots of judgments about it, but there's a kind of necessity of, of, of a kind of assuming responsibility for this, for either paying attention or not paying attention to, to your more soulful nature. You know, um, it's, it's, in other words, it's not something that simply happens. It's not something that simply happens. It's not something that simply happens to us. There's a level at which we're either engaging or disengaging. And even though I think sometimes we're not that aware of it, at some deep level we're, we're doing all this knowingly. It, it's an interesting practice and by the way, this is, this is, you know, it can seem like it's a, you know, when you talk about soul and stuff like that, people think, well, you know, I've, I had a moment of awakening and none of that seemed to make that much, you know, I didn't really need those ideas and all that kind of stuff. But actually, either way, I've seen that, you know, people have had these, these deeper experiences and those who haven't, there's still the importance of, there's, there's still you'll find yourself at times having been confronted with the absolute necessity of the kind of a kind of decision about whether what you're paying attention to what you're giving your life force to um, and so a sort of a soulful orientation I think is just as relevant uh, before during and after any kind of awakening in that sense we're all in the same boat you know um, because otherwise, you know, all you have is like a moment, maybe a revelatory moment that once happened. And you can say, oh, I had the moment and so I guess I'm awake. But of course, awakening is only meaningful in any given moment. In any moment, we're either awake or asleep. And in that moment, it doesn't care if we were awake yesterday or a year ago or even a second ago. It's not relevant even in the slightest. What's relevant now is, oh, how awake am I into this moment? That's the only thing that's really relevant. And, and, and so I do think we need to see even spiritual awakening outside of the context that it's often talked about in, in terms of just moments, a revelatory moment when I had an awakening thing. You know, that's important. Of course, I talk about that a lot. But we have to see it in a bigger context than that. Because that's not all there is to it. Like if somebody thinks, well, that's it, you know, I'm in this spiritual thing and then I'll have this moment of awakening and then I'm done with that. You know, we're going to be in for a very rude surprise. Um, <laughs> it's, it's deeper than that. Far, far deeper. And like I said, I think that We're ha happy when we have some soulful connection to, to existence, to each other, to our own, own experience, to life, you know. Some connection that has integrity, it has 
well connectedness. It has a sort of a sense of meaning, even though you can't say this is the meaning. You know, it's not like that kind of conceptual meaning, but it's the experience of meaning that, like, soulful connection is also has that sense of sense that sense of the sacred, even in the most ordinary moments. Like if there's no sense of the sacred, it's because we have no soulful connection. Like there's something inside of us we're not paying attention to.